You know how they say you learn something new every day? I'm not sure I do, but I did today. Today I learned that the Catholic Church has a patron saint for television. That's right. It's St. Clair of Assisi. She was a pal of St. Francis of Assisi. What are the odds of that? Two saints from one little town. St. Clair never saw a television. She died in the 13th century. But in 1948, Pope Pius XII named her as the official patron saint of television. Because when she was dying, she said that she could see the Mass being celebrated on a wall in her room. Sort of a precursor of television. Man, you have to hand it to them. The Catholic Church really has it covered. A patron saint for television. And back in 1948, that's impressive. That's progressive. That's forward-looking. And every year, they have a day when they bless motorcycles. A priest stands there sprinkling holy water, and the hogs and choppers drive past, and he blesses them, no doubt in the name of the patron saint of motorcycles. And even the tough guys show up, because if they've got a choice like that, they're going to think, you know what, I'm going to go with the blessing. Who's going to pass on a free blessing? Those Catholics have got a patron saint for everything. It's like merchandising in sports, let's say pro football. Everything is the official drink of the NFL, or the official paint of the NFL, or the official head, hedge clippers of the NFL. With the Catholic Church, they've got patron saints. This is the way they take care of the world. Nothing is overlooked. They've been at this for a long time, a lot longer than the NFL. They've got guardian angels and patron saints for everything. Is there a patron saint for cats? I bet there is. Is there a patron saint for Broadway musicals? I bet there is. Is there a patron saint for cats, the Broadway musical? I bet there is. Is there a patron saint for pizza? How about pizza delivery guys? I bet there is. There's probably a patron saint for all the toppings, including extra cheese. You could have a patron saint for hubcaps, a patron saint for hearing aids, a patron saint for pillows. I hope they designate a patron saint for condoms, but maybe they don't because the Catholic Church does not condone condoms. It condemns condoms, along with any form of birth control. Back to St. Clair, the patron saint of television. That's funny to me that the Catholic Church does not approve of birth control, but they think TV is okay. Those large families need entertainment, I guess. When you look at TV, though, you have to wonder if St. Clair is doing her job. Calling some of the shows that are on right now blessed could be a stretch. The Bachelorette, The Biggest Loser, American Idol, Dancing with the Stars. And what about shows like Breaking Bad, The Sons of Anarchy, and Game of Thrones? What does St. Clair think about them? Maybe she doesn't know. Assisi was a small town. It was the 13th century, and they say she didn't get out much. But she isn't there to judge the programming. That isn't what she does. She's there to help them. When a soap actor is about to go on, she can find inspiration in St. Clair. She's there for all the contestants on Wipeout and Survivor and Wheel of Fortune. She's a rock for news anchors and weathermen and sports, the scriptwriters and directors of episodes, cameramen and everyone on the crews. And now, since I learned this today, that she's the patron saint of television, she's there for me. Whenever I sit down and turn on the tube, I can think, St. Clair, be with me, protect me now, in this, my prime time hour of must-see need.